to see the behavior of DMK party today. On the day when the Honorable Prime Minister is in our Tamil soil and very proudly he has laid the foundation stone for India's second rocket launching facility from the southern part of Tamil Nadu. A DMK minister gives us a paper ad with a Chinese rocket in the background with Chinese flag, a sitting DMK minister glorifying the whole thing. And Madam Kanimoli, who is a senior MP of that same area from Tutukudi, she defends saying, what is wrong in having a Chinese picture? It is okay. They are not our enemy stand. Sir, just yesterday our Honorable PM was in Tiruvanandapuram ISRO specialty, introducing the four superb future astronauts to the people of India who are in this program. Probably the first Indian from the Indian technology to fly into space. And just yesterday we had celebrated the whole moment of four people getting introduced to our country. Today this has happened. Now for Madam Kanimuli and my DMK friends, I would like to give something in context. When Professor Satish Dhavanji came to Tamil Nadu during Anna Adurayji's period of Chief Minister, 1967-69 period, he was willing to have India's first rocket launching facility in Tamil Nadu. But that day Anna Adurayji couldn't come because he had a shoulder pain. So, he deputed another minister for meeting with Professor Satish Dhawan, Minister Madhi Alagan, in the book Ready to Fire, written by Nambi Narayananji, published by Bloomsbury, and co-authored by Mr. Arun. In the book, very clearly Nambi Narayananji refers, in that meeting, Madhi Alaganji came to that important meeting inebriated, in a state where he was not in a conscious position to talk. And somebody had to carry his, him with his shoulders. And Sadis Dhawanji said, I am not going to give a launching, rocket launching facility here. He went out and Sri Harikota caught that. We all know the history. Now DMK wants to prevent the second facility also here. DMK wants to stop the rocket launching facility from coming here. And for that they are going any end to please their masters, who so it is, I don't know. Now when the whole of India is celebrating, that we are doing it the Indian way. We have the DMK people here glorifying China, glorifying Chinese people and glorifying their flag and everything. Nothing wrong. Everybody is our brother and sister. But this is an Indian first. That is why we are doing it the Indian way. And we expect a bare minimum apology from the DMK government and that minister. And instead, Kanibuli madam going overboard and defending, I really am at pain to say why is this happening in our state? Why the politicians from DMK are behaving every time anti-national, every time. When nothing works, they get back to this North India-South India divide.